Hey, Snooky Lanks back again today. Guess what we got? We got Snow Linux 2. Yes, Snow Linux 2. This number 2. Now, remember I did it the first time around, oh, a long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. From a guy from Germany who's a bit controversial, but based on Debian 6, by the way. But it works and it's very, 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 very fast. Oh, yeah. So we've got some new icons and we've got some new themes, which is good going down. But I'm going to go back with a fast theme. This is the XFCE version. Now, it's only XFC 4.6, so it seems. <clears throat> but it's very fast 4.6. Some are too worried about that. So anyway, yes, yeah, so Debian 6 is based on, so it's hunky-dory, super-duper. So we'll go to the menu. See how quick it's really, really, really fast. There's a few problems with the last one I've done, but as it was just the first one, I wasn't too worried about it. So we get Terminal, File Manager, Web Browser. Your web browser of choice here. Guess, guess what it is. Go on, go on, guess. Yes, I've installed Iceweasel. It's actually not Iceweasel. It's Chromium. But I thought we'd get a bit of Iceweasel going just to make sure Synaptic work works because this is basically your installer of choice is Synaptic Package Manager. So if I go over here to the public and go to the home page and make sure everything's hunky dory there. Okay. Yep, that looks all fine. Super of the duper. What I'm going to do <clears throat> is using Ganesh actually for its player. So if we go to YouTube, well, one of its players anyway. So let's go to YouTube and we'll check out a video of mine, shall we? Just in case. Ooh, can't even spell. Let's see what comes up. <clears throat> And there I am. Okay. Well, go with war, that one, just to see if it plays. Because never know, it might not play. So we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. It's all looking good and feeling great. Okay. Now, this is the thing I found when I've been trying to play videos of it. it it's, you have to wait for it to do what it wants to do, basically. So five, four, three, two, one. And we get there in the end. So that's a lovely job. You see, that's my one of my videos. It's super. It's the old Linux side of one. Lovely. So it does work, but it's not instantaneous when you press it. But yeah, it's all open source, by the way. Super duper. Lovely. Anyway, yeah, so out of the way. <clears throat> so down here we have File Manager and we have the Terminal. Over here are four workspaces, spaces even. Here's our internet connection. Over here we have our high windows and show desktop, our clock and calendar and stuff like that. So if I click there, in theory, we should get that. No, we don't get that. We don't get that. Oh, blimey. That's our shutdown menu. Ooh, so what do you get with it normally? Well, considering it's quite a large download, you don't actually get a lot with it, okay? Under accessories, you get root terminal, screenshots, squeezes in there, terminal and stuff like that. Under graphics, you only get Restrato, Shotwell, and Simple Scam. Multimedia, you get AU Mix, Banshee, which is quite a large one, so yeah. Brazero, Mix, XF Burn. Network, as I said before, is Chromium. I've actually added Ice Weasel, okay? And under Office, I've actually added Abbey Word. There is no Office stuff as standard. But then again, if you're going to use it and do all online stuff, like Google Docs or Zoho, it doesn't really matter. Now, as with the version of XSCE, it's also using an older version of Abbey Word, which is 282, okay? But when you download it with all the extras and bits and bobs, it does work super duper. So I'm not too worried about that either. See how quick it is? It's quite stable the amount of time I've been using it, so I'm not too worried really. Right under system, now bearing in mind we are based on Debian, it's all lovely jubbly, you should know what you're looking at. G part is here as standard. By the way, the installer worked fine, no big deal for me, it was super duper. Login screen, new login screen, blah 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 blah, and the synaptic package manager. Same what's my password. And it comes up. I'll quickly show you, make sure it all works for you, make sure I wasn't lying, just in case you're thinking I was lying. So if I go and search for Genie Merrick, because that's a nice one. That should do it. And see if it all comes up, which it should do really quickly. And there it is. So we'll quickly install that while we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's all right. Yeah, we're going to apply that. And we're going to go, yeah, we can have all that. So apply. And whoosh. My super fast download speed is really nice now. Look, it's like, oh. Yeah, I'm going to about 22 mega, man. It's all right, isn't it? So it's installing my software. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to do it. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Get along there. And in the end, the download is quicker than installation. And this is a quad core machine. Hold on. And there we go. And we're done. We'll close that. We'll wait for Synaptic to reload as it normally always has to. Five to one. Yeah, see that as. We'll go back to Office. 
and in theory we should have G numeric and yes there it is it all works fine stable and very quick okay fine stable and quick and that's what we really want now this time around because of its sprightliness I'm really liking it especially if you like Debian GNU stuff yeah and you don't do all the pay stuff you want to go free man free man good one for you so out of 100 I'm gonna give it 85 sneaky and Linux out I see those bye bye